Hello friends, today I want to show you how to make a colorful toucan puppet. These are the colors we'll need. Construction paper or cardstock or index paper, any kind of heavy paper will work. We'll also need some tape, scissors, glue stick, and something to make some light marks. Let's get started. We'll begin with our black sheet. Fold it in half. With our fold here, place it down. Now we need to draw the outline of the beak. We'll be cutting this line, but we won't actually be cutting this line. This one is a guide. Instead, we are going to be cutting relief cuts at several places along the length of the beak. So now let's make the cuts. Now we want to fold under these flaps here to the ends of our cut. This one fold it all the way down to the point. And on the other side. Cut off this excess here. Now let's bring in our yellow. With our yellow sheet, we'll fold it in half lengthwise as well. Use the black piece of paper to sandwich it, just like this. Let's trace along the black paper on the edge of the black paper with our pencil. We can extend this line. We're going to cut all the way up here. We'll cut all of this off on this side right here. But we're also going to cut a curve off here and to shape a curve like this. That's what we're cutting away. Now with our yellow piece, we need to tape all along this edge right here. We're going to use short pieces of tape, line them up exactly halfway, and fold over. Now we place this on. We line it up. Now we continue taping along this edge, making sure to overlap with the yellow here. We'll dab a little bit of glue on these two corners here. So we're going to glue this, add some glue right under here, but we're not going to come close to this edge because we'll need to be able to lift it up later.
Now looking here, we're going to use these tabs that we folded in to create dimensionality for the beak. We'll glue each piece to itself. I have to have this wide enough for my hand so we can see that there's no overlap here, but that's okay. We can use uh, another piece. We use the lining for the mouth to reinforce this later on. So we'll just leave that as is. Now to shape at the back of the head, we're gonna start with a cut that goes about two inches, I would say, right along the crease there. We fold it over and we'll use some tape here. We want our eyes to be positioned about right here. And we'll need to make a cut all the way up to that point. I'm gonna go right to the top of the eye. Now fold this in, tuck it into the other side. We're going to create an overlap here. And we'll need to cut this flap so that we can tuck that back in. Cut this piece of paper all the way up to here. I can already tell that this is a little tight fit for my hand here, so I need to cut a little relief cut about this far and fold this over. The reason I've done that is to allow my hand to rest nicely in here. Next, we'll need our white paper. We'll fold it in half as well. We're gonna be creating a shape that lies on top of the form here. Essentially, that looks like this. The eye will be situated about right here, kind of equidistant from the edge all the way around. And to get to it, to cut, we're gonna cut that out. So we'll actually fold along this line. So we begin. Fold over so that we've got a semicircle here. Now carefully cut out that semicircle. Cut these into two pieces, right down the center line. Let's get our blue paper, the eyes. And we just need two small pieces, enough that they cover the opening of the eye. And we can put that, tape that in place.
I glued too close. I didn't follow my own advice. There we go, now that tucks in better. It's going to go just like that. And then we'll glue all of this down and we'll glue this corner right. Now we want the red for the lining of our mouth. We'll fold it in this direction. We folded everything else lengthwise. Slide your hand in. Land this all the way into the This fold right here, your fulcrum. Just gen generally trace around the outline here. We're going to clean it up a little bit. We can see the general shape right here. Let's cut that out. drop in just like this. So let's add some glue to both surfaces so this will really stick together. This should not be adhered. So let's put this aside for a minute. We're going to make the jaw. With this piece, we're going to fold it in half and cut along that line. We'll only need half the sheet. Turn it this way. Fold it in half again. Open it up. And with this lined up with the center, mark just on either side of the tongue. So now we'll be making a fold from here to here and here to. Fold this into that line. Cut that off too. Now we fold from this point to this line. So we're folding this over, not quite to our pencil line. We are going all the way up to the point. Now we should be able to bring these two pieces together here with a piece of tape. This is going to nest in here, which means that we need to actually bend the tip down so it will nest properly inside. And looking at it here, I can see that I will need to make a little bend here and here, I think. Fold this out this way. Keep that line in mind, because we don't want to cut past it. But we are going to cut a slit here and here. Stop there. 
stuff there. In here, we have to cut off these pieces that are in the way because we want to tuck this in. We'll do the same here. We have to cut out pieces that block that. And so in each case, we're going to tuck just a bit and tape. This one gets a little tuck too. We need to cut off some of this. Let's glue these two surfaces together. these tabs in here. Now we'll need to trim a little bit of excess off along here. We need to leave more room for the wrist. Now let's trim the excess off here. Okay, here we are. Things seem to be nesting relatively well. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed making a colorful toucan puppet with us. So, Toucan, you headed off somewhere? Uh, yes, I do believe so. Well, where are you headed to? Oh, I just follow my schnoz. Why? Just because. Ha <laughs> ha!